हे गाइस लाइक लास्ट वीडियो को ना कुछ लोगों ने कमेंट किया था कि उन्हें मतलब ऐसे एक्सप्लेनेशन नहीं चाहिए सो दे सेड लाइक ऑडियो बुक ऑफ एन बुक लाइक लेसन वाइज सो मैं अभी ऑडियो बुक करने वाली हूँ सो मैं इसमें मतलब एक्सप्लेन नहीं करूँगी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द लिविंग वर्ल्ड हाउ वंडरफुल इज द लिविंग वर्ल्ड द वाइड रेंज ऑफ अ लिविंग टाइप इज अमेजिंग द एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी हैबिटेट्स इन विच वी फाइंड लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स बीट कोल्ड माउंटेन्स डेसिडियस फॉरेस्ट ओशंस फ्रेश वाटर लेक्स डेजर्ट्स और हॉट स्प्रिंग्स लिवस अ स्पीचलेस द ब्यूटी ऑफ अ गलोप सिंग हॉर्स ऑफ द माइग्रेटिंग बर्ड्स द वैल्यू ऑफ अ फ्लावर और द अटैकिंग शार्क्स एवोक्स अवेयर डीप सेंस ऑफ वॉन्डम द इकोलॉजिकल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड अ कोऑपरेशन अमॉन्ग द मेंबर ऑफ अ पॉपुलेशन एंड अमॉन्ग पॉपुलेशन ऑफ अ कम्युनिटी और इवन द मॉलिकुलर ट्रैफिक इन साइड सेल मेक्स अस डीपली रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन वॉट इन डीड इज लाइफ यू कैन स्विच टू वन पॉइंट फाइव स्पीड गाइस दिस क्वेश्चन हैज टू इम्प्लीट क्वेश्चन विद इन एट द फर्स्ट इज अ टेक्निकल वन एंड सिक्स आंसर टू वॉट इज लिविंग एज अपोजिट टू द नॉन लिविंग and the second is a philosophical one and seeks answer to what the purpose of life is as scientist we shall not attempt answering the second question we will try to reflect on what is living yeah 1.1 what is living when we try to define living we conventionally look for a distinctive characteristics exhibited by the living organisms like growth reproduction ability to sense environment and mount a suitable response come to our mind immediately as unique feature of living organisms one can add a few more features like metabolism ability to self replicate self organize interact and emergence to this list let us try to understand each of these all organisms grow increase in mass and increase in number of individuals are twin characteristics of growth a multicellular organism grow by cell division in plants this growth by cell division occurs continuously throughout their life span in animals this growth is seen only up to certain age However cell division occurs in certain tissues to replace lost tissues so lost cells unicellular organisms grow by cell division one can easily observe in vitro culture by simply counting the number of cells under the microscope in majority of the higher animals and plants growth and reproduction are mutually exclusive events one must remember that increase in body mass is considered as growth non living objects also grow if we take increase in body mass as a creation for growth mountains boulders and sand molds do grow however this kind of growth exhibited by non living objects by the accumulation of material on the surface in the living organisms growth is from inside so growth therefore cannot be taken as a defining property of a living organisms condition under which it can be observed in all living organisms have to be explained and then we understand that is a characteristic of a living system a dead organisms does not grow yeah now reproduction likewise is a characteristic of a living organisms in multicellular organisms reproduction refers to a production of a progeny processing features more or less similar to those of parents invariably and implicitly we refer to sexual reproduction organisms reproduce by sexual means also fungi multiply and spread easily due to millions of asexual spores they produce in lower organisms like yeast and hydra we observe budding in planaria flatworms we observe 
ट्रू रीजनरेशन देर फोर सो दैट इज फ्रैगमेंटेड ऑर्गेनिजम्स रीजनरेट द लॉस्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट्स बॉडी एंड बिकम अ न्यू ऑर्गेनिजम द फंगाइ द फिलोमेंट सालगे द प्रोटोनीम ऑफ मॉसस ऑल इजीली मल्टीप्लाई बाय फ्रैगमेंटेशन when it comes to unicellular organisms like bacteria unicellular algae or amoeba reproduction is synonymous with growth that is increase in number of cell we have already defined growth as equivalent to increase in cell or mass hence we note that in a single celled organisms are not very clear about the usage of the two terms that is growth and reproduction further there are many organisms which do not reproduce example mules sterile worker bees in fertile human couples etc hence reproduction also cannot be an exclusive defining characteristic of a living organisms of course non living object is capable of reproducing or replicating by itself sorry that is no non living organisms so no non living organisms is capable of reproducing or replicating by itself another characteristic of a life is a metabolism all living organisms are made up of chemicals these chemicals may be small or big belonging to various classes sizes functions etc are constantly being made and changed into some other biomolecules these conversions are chemical reactions or metabolic reactions there are thousands of reactions occurring simultaneously inside all living organisms be the unicellular a plants and a fungi microbe exhibit metabolism the sum total of all the chemical reactions occurring in our body is metabolism no non living objects exhibit metabolism metabolism reactions can be demonstrated outside the body in a cell free system also an isolated metabolism reactions outside the body of an organisms performed in a test tube is neither living or non living hence metabolism is a defining feature of all the living organisms without any exceptions isolated metabolism reactions in vitro not living things but surely living reactions and cellular organizations of the body is a defining feature of the life forms perhaps the most obvious and a technical complicated feature of all the living organisms is this ability to sense their surrounding or environment and respond to this environmental stimuli which could be physically chemically or biological we sense our environment through our sense organs plants respond to external factors like light water temperatures other organisms pollutants etc all organisms prompts the prokaryotes to the most complex eukaryotes sense and respond to environmental issues or causes the photo period affects reproduction in seasonal breeders both plants and animals all the organisms handle chemical entering their bodies all organisms therefore are aware of their aware of their surroundings human being is the only organism who is aware of himself that is they have self uh, self confidence consciousness okay consciousness therefore becomes the defining feature of the living organisms when it comes to human beings it is all more difficult to define the living state we observe patients lying in the coma in hospitals virtually supported by machines which replace heart and lungs the patient is otherwise brain dead the patient has no consciousness has such patient who never come back to normal life living or non living
in higher classes you will come to know that all living phenomena are due to the underlying interactions properties of tissues are not present in the constituent cells what arises as a result of interactions among the constituent cells similarly properties of cellular organelles are not present in molecular constituent of the organelle but arises as a result of a interaction among the molecular component arising the comprising the organelle these interactions result in emergent properties at higher level of organizations this phenomena is true in a higher hierarchy of organizational complexity at all levels therefore we can say that living organisms are self replicating evoking and self regulating interactive system capable of responding to external stimuli body so biology is the story of life on earth biology is a story of evolution of a living organisms on earth all living organisms present past and future are linked to one another by the sharing of the common genetic material but to varying degrees yeah diversity in the living world if you look around you will see large variety of living organisms be it potted plants insects birds or your pest or other animals and plants there are also several anim organ sorry organisms that you cannot see with your naked eyes but they all are around you that is microorganisms if you were to increase the area that you make observations in the range and a variety of organisms that you would see increases obviously if you were to visit a dense forest you would probably see much greater number and a kind of organisms in it each different kind of a plants and animals or organisms that you see represents a species the number of a species that are known and described range between 1.7 to 1.8 million this refer to diversity or the number and type of organisms present on earth we should remember here as we explore new areas and old new sorry even old ones new organisms are continually continuously being identified as stated earlier there are millions of plants and animals in the world we know the plants and animals in our own areas by their local names these local names would vary from place to place even within a country probably you would recognize the confusion that would be created if did not find a way and a means to talk to each other to refer to organisms we are talking about hence there is a need to standardize the name of the living organisms such that a particular organism is known by a same name all over the world this process is called nomenclature obviously nomenclature or naming is only possible when the organism is described correctly and we know to what organism the name is attached to that is identification in order to facilitate the study number of scientists have established the procedure to assign scientific name to each known organisms this is acceptable to biologist all over the world for plant scientific names are based on the agreed principle and criteria which are provided in the international code of botanical nomenclature that is icbn you um, you may ask how are animals named animal taxonomists have evolved international code of geological nomenclature that is iczn the scientific name ensures that all living organisms has only one name description of any organism should enable the people in any part of the world to arise to the same name same name 
दे आल्सो एंश्योर दैट सच अ नेम हैज टू बी बीन यूज फॉर और एनी अदर नोन ऑर्गेनिजम्स बायोलॉजिस्ट फॉलो यूनिवर्सली एक्सेप्टेड प्रिंसिपल टू प्रोवाइड साइंटिफिक नेम टू नोन ऑर्गेनिजम्स ईच नेम हैज टू कंपोनेंट द जेनेरिक नेम एंड द साइंटिफिक स्पेसिफिक नेम सॉरी स्पेसिफिक एपिथलेट दिस सिस्टम फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग अ नेम विथ टू कंपोनेंट इज कॉल्ड बायनोमियल नॉमन क्लेचर दिस नेमिंग सिस्टम गिवन बाय कलर्स लिनियस इज बीन प्रैक्टिसड बाय बायोलॉजिस्ट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड द नेमिंग सिस्टम यूज यूजिंग अ टू वर्ड फॉर्मेट वॉज फाउंड कन्वीनियंट लेटर्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैंगो टू अंडरस्टैंड द वे ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग साइंटिफिक नेम बेटर द साइंटिफिक नेम ऑफ मैंगो इज रिटर्न एज मैग्निफेरा इंडिका लेटर्स सी हाउ इट इज बायनोमियल नेम इन दिस नेम मैग्निफेरा रेप्रेजेंट द जीनस वाइल इंडियस इंडिका इज रेप्रेजेंटिंग स्पीशीज और अ स्पीशीज एपिथलेट अदर यूनिवर्सल लॉस और रूल्स ऑफ नॉमल क्लेचर आर एज फॉलोज लेट एस कंटिन्यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो गाइस अभी काफ़ी ज़्यादा मतलब ये लंबा चैप्टर है फिर भी ये मतलब मतलब कम है क्योंकि इसका पेज ना बस थर्टीन है गाइस